Welcome back to the 100K Pod, Season 1, Episode 15, the show where we put $10 into account, try and turn it into 100 grand every week, betting on the AFL in winter, NFL in summer. Jeff, how are you going? I'm good, Lewis. Lewis, what should you do if your girlfriend starts smoking? Tell me. Slow down and use some lube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a freshie, isn't it? That's goody. Uh, Dobe, the spark plug of the 100K network, Jeff, it's fair to say. Um, we've lost him to Bali. He lost $1,000 in 10 weeks on Here Comes the Money. He backed Brisbane to beat Hawthorne as the first leg in the 100K. He's even getting potted on the Discord, Jeff, left and right. It's driven him out of the country. We feel for him. He's getting the help he deserves and the help he needs in Bali. Um, but it's a good feeling in here. A good feeling, Jeff. By help, you mean like... But stepping in, a man that hasn't been this excited since uh, Pink was announced as a guest on Rove Live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the man they call Hyphen, everyone's favourite outside midfielder, Jake Stempower. Yeah, Welcome, right. Zoe. Thank you, boys. Jeez, it's good to be here. It's good to be back. And, you know, when you send Dobe out to pasture, I'm just happy to roll back in and hopefully uh, can give us some winning legs. Absolutely. I think Let's it should go. be said, though, we didn't we didn't ship Das anywhere. No, Das had had enough. He's gone on sabbatical. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. He needed to is go. It, but is it a bit more of like a Jack Gunson, Daniel Rich type, Rich type thing? Dropped like? himself. Dropped himself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I didn't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> he was about to get the tap on the shoulder. Yeah, he was crying. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Sit on the Monday before the Tuesday meeting. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Last week, we had a bloody good week, Jev. Uh, 17 from 23 at 74%. It's tough goal in this yeah. buy round business. This mm. month old buy round is... Joke, bring back rivalry round. Yes. I don't know if you heard my Correct. theory on it. But, I do like it. Uh, good legs, <laughs> stiff legs, Jeff. Give me your stiff legs. Yeah, well, I was 100% coming into Sunday. Then I had Ben King for three. He got a good old-fashioned bath by mm. Jacob Wiedering, if you watch that game. Bailey Smith for 25. Cost me more than just a leg in the 100K, <laughs> let me tell you. And then Taron Thomas, anytime he kicked a goal every week, he went back. But he actually had 24 touches, played a bit more midfield. So it's not a bad leg, it's a stiff leg. Stiff leg, yeah. Do you have Darcy's stiff legs? Yeah, only one for the big dose. So he's actually hitting Bali pretty red hot. So hopefully he can turn that into some form over there, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Machito Owens? Machito? Yep. Is that Machito how you say? Playing like yeah, Fife Machito and Ablett at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been unreal. Except for last week where Dars had him for one goal and in the wet he just couldn't get the chocolates. Yeah, correct. Uh, my bad legs. I had Lockie Whitfield, $1.32. I wanted him for Pyramid, Jeff, and yeah, he didn't even have 25. Yeah. So, mm. And then the Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity was two from three. I thought, here we go. But just Judson Clark. And might have cost you in the 50X. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, so, but I think... That's probably a bad leg. Yeah. I don't know if that's that stiff. Upon review. What, but he was he kicked it six weeks in a row. Yeah. So, I mean, you can a, only bet on form. It's hard to, yeah. It, well, I think once it started raining, it wasn't Judson Clark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of those guys. Him and Brad Hill went home, I believe, yeah. when it started raining. Uh, Jeff, you good legs. Good legs. Cogs, 25. Sinclair, 25. Rioli, 20. Bont, 25. Just good players yeah. getting good green well ticks. Dar- Dar's yeah, good legs. Dar's had a ripper. So, uh, Finn Callahan 20. Um, Sarong 25 Prestia 20 Walsh 25 Charlie Kerno 2 He's been a bit out of touch Sheasel 20 Liver 25 And the big Sue Larky For a couple That's a great that's Yeah it's a, a great really, week. He's really had 8 week. ticks I think he, he had Larky for 3, three Did he not yeah. And oh, he's three, big yeah. on Finn Callahan The local yeah, produce The local produce I, I, don't know, I don't know if this has been brought up On the pod But Please. the clinic he put on A parky training one night He came down and trained As a 16 year old We did match him And I was, yeah. I was pretty happy With myself after a good pre-season That's Finn or Larky Right <laughs> And I've never seen a bloke bar But like senior football So he was unbelievable yeah. And it's starting to translate. Yeah. Well, happy oh, days, Finn. <laughs> if you're up with that. He's a gun. Uh, good legs. As I said, the Holy Trinity went two from three. Uh, big clunk bolt, Jeff. Yeah. I said I wanted him for the first in the 100K. Yeah. Now, admittedly, I didn't put him in yeah. because I'm not going to put a $19 leg in the 100K. <laughs> but he fucking kicked it. I know. We flirted with putting Levi has on for the first in the 100K and he fucking kicked it. He is the third favourite story in every game to kick the first for the Suns. And he's just with Dukes like that. That could be Was Here Comes the Money. Three of the last four. He's kicked three, three of the last four. four. That it's could the best be the Here Comes the Money just reunion injection no, needs, it's, it's needs to be back. something it might pay to get Dust home something <laughs> uh, anyway I had him for any time so $1.54 and then Cody Waitman Jeff I had him for two I touted last week's show I said he's on his way to becoming a professional forward yeah, yeah, so the is, Luke yeah. Bruce he type is, yeah, I honestly think he's on that way and he kicks six so that was unreal he was unbelievable he, if you watch that hell game. great just enjoy a smile on his face took a hanger every time goal assist he was and so it's about good. time you see blokes get around themselves yes. when they've taken a hanger Correct. absolutely I like the new hairdo he's running with too. Uh, Jeff, before we get into the 100K, the 50X club. It's a prestigious club. <laughs> <The 50X> club. <laughs> we're zip from two and more stiff exits. So the green ticks were Canelo 25, Finn 20, Sinclair 25, Rioli 20, Dion Prestia 20, Walsh, Libba, Sheasel, Bont. 
all good ticks. Our exes were Judson Clark anytime and Taron Thomas anytime. I realize that's on us. You don't bet on bad players when you're trying to hit a 50 to 1 multi. So I got, yeah, another, I got yeah. another one at the end of the pod. Good players only, 50 bucks, 50 to 1 it pays. Have a tenner on it as well if you've got a spare 10. Absolutely. Never, I'd never heard against it, but when Taron Thomas didn't kick one, I thought, thank fuck. We don't want Judson Clark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been flat. Uh, before we get into it, only four games again this week, but uh, NBA draft tomorrow, Jev, and uh, you got a little something there. Yeah, last week. Uh, we were invited to an event and we met we met Josh Giddy and he was a fucking good guy. Unbelievable. And we got a jersey and he signed it to the 100K, keep betting and signed it. So he's a fucking good man. He's now a 100K athlete. And we are absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> Is that an announcement or... Yeah. 100K athlete. So we're fucking pumped with that jersey. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I have heard the ball magnets is branching out into the 100K space in terms of Cripps, Mitchell and Giddy. And... We, oh, Darcy said it in some of the other pods. Pat Cripps was the best bloke on Unbelievable. Earth. And funny story, if you haven't heard it yet, I would, it's funny when Darst tells it, but <laughs> you and Darst decided to boycott the Blues after you lost the Bombers. You said you're not going to another game. Well, we gave him one last chance, and it was Bombers Blues. Bombers Blues. And he said, you're not going to another game. You've seen enough. You're sick of them. They'd lost 10 out of 11. So Darst having a chat with Pat Cripps. Pat Cripps is asking Darst what he does for work, how, what he gets up to in his spare. Darst couldn't believe it. He's like, don't talk about me. Talk about you. And anyway, he goes, how are we going to go against Gold Coast this week? He goes... Anderson's a gun, rouse a bull, but we should fucking smash him. And then Pat Cripps looks Darcy in the eye and goes, you're coming, yeah? Darcy's like, sure, I'm scared. I'll be there. <laughs> Darcy was there. They put on a clinic. Cripps kicked three. Like, he basically, Darcy had him for 25 and a goal. He yep. kicked That's three and had bet. 27. He was on fire. So he was the nice guy I've ever met. So I'm all about Pat Cripps. Handsome Absolutely. So welcome Cripps and Josh Giddy to the 100K and athletes. And Tommy Mitchell, 100K yeah. athletes. My man, Tommy. <laughs> Uh, I reckon that's it. So first game, as I said, we've only got four games to bet from. Just tough, tough swimming this, Jeff. <laughs> Especially no, in West not. Coast, one of them. These are golden No, you're actually dead right. It's not about multi considering there's only four games. Let's yes. kick it off. Sydney versus West Coast, Jeff. There's only two players at the Swans I trust right now. Errol Gordon and Nick Blakey. Give me them both for 20 touches. Errol for 20 at $1.28. He's averaging 24 on the E. He's had it six of the last seven weeks. Oh, I love it. And the Lizard is $1.41 for 20. Had it two of the last three. Actually, I am not trusting the Lizard. Fuck it. Lizard's out. Errol only. <laughs> I only trust Errol at the Swans for 20 touches. Story. Jeez, you did me. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. I was ready to celebrate. Get the lizard out. No, no. Uh, I've got Luke Parker for twenty. He's averaging twenty-seven for the year. I think Jeff. He's must be in your in your one back, one wide sort of situation mm. with trusting. He's he's a reliable. <laughs> yeah. he That's is. a good point. Good. Yeah. Jeez, he's facing good for you. <laughs> Uh, and nothing from me. <laughs> good start. That's uh, not a bad start. Uh, Freo Essendon over there. I uh, wish I knew the, the handicap. What do you got for us, Jeff? Jeez, I like the Bombers to win it. $2.14. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you say that. So, yeah, oh, that's they're, good. Yeah. they're clearly the better team. I know it's in Freo, but whatever. That's not one of my legs. Jai Menzi <laughs> anytime. I actually, it's $1.63. I actually can't believe this is a $1.63. The last time he didn't kick a goal in an AFL round was gather round. Gather round, <laughs> round five. He kicks one every goddamn week, and we're getting a dollar sixty three for an anytime goal. Take it. He kicked no, two against the Blues rude. when we yep. were there. He's had his buy. He kicks one every week, and then Nick Martin twenty touches at a dollar thirty nine. <laughs> Story <laughs> thinks he looks like Ray Romano, and he definitely does. Yeah, de- <laughs> Stop the pod now. We'll pause pause it. That Google it. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. Coming off thirty touches and best on against Carlton back home in WA, and I'm getting a dollar thirty nine for twenty touches when he averages twenty two on the year, and he's averaging twenty seven his last four weeks. Wow. This could be the bet of the round. A dollar forty basically once you're odd boosted for Nick Martin twenty is cash. Story. Yeah. And Jeez, he looks like Ray Romano. I just can't believe it. I've gone uh, bra- back to the well with old Reliable from last year. Brayshaw, 25. He started the season slow, but I've been in the weeds over the past week, lads, and I've had a bit of time on my hands. Uh, he's hit it every week since round six with 34 last week, so he's definitely on his way to another 25. And also this bloke, I've called him Essendon's Wayne Carey, Kyle Langford. Now, if you're an astute watcher of the game, like are. I am, You've noticed that he's almost turned into the best NR forward in the league. He's averaging two goals a game, 11 in his last five. I've just got him for one at $1.30. Now the big two metres back, I think he'll just get some cheap love too. Yeah. He's like us. We love him. Yeah, there's a heap to unpack there. Uh, (laughs) Carey, best NR forward. Um, Ray Romano. When you're pissed, you do a great Ray Romano voice. Do you want (laughs) to give us that? (laughs) No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even think what he said. What does he sound like? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm well, here we'll comes the money. That's we'll a little that. teaser. I'll do it as Ray Romano. Uh, John Menzies, you put him on the map, Jeff. I reckon single handedly. Yeah, I fucking hundred k athlete, I believe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give me the bombers twenty one and a half. Plus twenty one and a half. Plus twenty one and a half. So a head start. You said in the group chat this morning that we want no result bets, and I already had two in the holster. So <laughs> like, luckily, you like the bombers. Two in the gun. But the Dons have won four on the trot. We saw them beat the Blues. I just love what they're doing. I really do. I know a lot of bombers supporters. It's a bit like Carlton. The own supporters, they just can't get mm. around their own yeah. team. But that's okay. Uh, last time they played Optus versus Freo, they won as well. Won by 32 points. Travel well, the boys. Yeah, and I think the big seven-seater will cause a lot of headaches. Yeah. I really do. Which filters nicely. I couldn't believe this. I got dollar sixty-four for Big Peter Wright to kick two. That's, yes. That is so good. He was so dangerous so against really the Blues. Dangerous. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. And Weider, it's not like Weidering's a chump. Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, he hasn't got any super in his account, but he's not, <laughs> not a bad player. Oh, he's he genuinely is a chump. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's kicked two his last 10 of 11. Yeah. That's an unbelievable he came, stat. He came back, kick five. Like, it's a great league. There's a lot of bets in here. I just don't know where the value... Well, I don't know why it's there, but I get a dollar sixty four. So, hey, we, we move along. Into... Have you, anyone else got any others? No, that's no, it. No, nothing for me. I've got a good old-fashioned game of Who Am I, Jimmy? <laughs> good. All right. My last six. 23, 19, 31... 27, 30, 21. I'm 187 tall, and I was picked 30 in the 2015 draft. You can get me a dollar 39 for 20. Ablett Jr. Oh, I've got to go Dangerfield. Both close. Mason Redman. Yeah, he's oh, a star. So he's averaging 23 on the year, and I reckon he's taking the leap, Jeff. I reckon yeah, he's yes. taking the leap. And yes. I I also reckon he's taking the betting leap. He's yeah. a hell of a, hell of a player to bet on. Averaging twenty three, just to, to take twenty, nearly a dollar forty for your yeah. twenty. It's just too good of a bet Looks to say no to in a in a round with four games. He's an A grader at his position in his mm. comp. Like oh, he's a half call. back back pocket back pocket A grader. Very unique looking operator. So if you have a look at him, he looks oh. similar to a frog. So okay. just again, uh, frog Redman, <laughs> froggy. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all kinds. Another hundred k athlete. Uh, we move on to Sunday. Collingwood versus oh. Adelaide. <laughs> Big story. Pink lover. You'll be there. I will be there. With bells on. Uh, how many legs you on this game? Plenty. How many? Yeah. Uh, sprinkle, I think I've got a good four. sprinkle. Oh, Two. We'll, we'll go around and we'll go one at a time. Smart. We'll yeah. Okay. I'll start. Scott Bendelbury, 20 touches at $1.28. <laughs> 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 if it ain't broke, don't fix it, play it. Fellas, what a player. <laughs> Twendlebury. <laughs> Twendlebury. <laughs> Scott Twendlebury. This is 11 out of 12 on the year. He Kidding. had 26 against Melbourne on King's birthday. The old dogs had a buy and some rest oh. on the body. This oh. is an absolute fresh. lock. Talk 20 touches on the, dr- on the G for Scott Twendlebury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm <laughs> As I said, I've been in the weeds and I've looked at this strictly objectively. And now, we haven't planned this, but I've also got a blind reveal for you. Good. Okay, this is goals scored. One, three, three, four, two, five, and three. Travis Cloak. Jeff Farmer. Tony Lockett. All incorrect. It's the elite medium. Brody <laughs> Mychek. Brody Mychek. Is a smoky for the Coleman from... Uh, just purely trying hard. Yeah, now, for the Patreon star. members, I've got a great story for you on Tom Mitchell. You just need to sign up to the Patreon, of course. And I've got him for two. <laughs> <laughs> on what forum on the, are we throwing? <laughs> Pardon? I'll just voice memo. Smart. Yeah. Oh, good. But when will you release that? About tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Yeah, I've got, oh, got time. Can you feel, like selfie video yourself and release it? Yeah. yeah I will. Good. Patreon members, though, sign up. It's not too late. Uh, I need <laughs> a break. I cancel mine? <laughs> yeah, I need a break on one. But anywho, I've got him for two and he's ready to go. No, that's a great bet story, the Maya check. I can't wait to hear the Tom Mitchell story. <laughs> it's <No>. great. <laughs> um, Maybe the end of the poll when no one's watching. <laughs> we'll sneak it in. <laughs> Give me big Josh for Shally, Jeff, yep. anytime. I love this bloke. Yep. Just re-sign. I don't know if you saw the, the video with the Kick It Forward boys. A great video. Go and have a look at that. But dollar forty six for any time. He's kicked a goal in each of the last five games. Yeah. Just form like this again. I don't know why are we getting such good value. Dollar <laughs> forty six. Last time he played uh, Collingwood, he kicked four behinds. Yeah, that's you know right. I mean? He had good looks as well. And I reckon it might have cost us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have. It would have been <laughs> the only <laughs> league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he was lively. <laughs> so I'll back that he's lively again. Give me just one for dollar forty six, Jimmy. Jordan Dawson, 25 touches at $1.25. I still think this man is the most underrated player in the comp and he'll probably come top five in the brown lane. Oh, I couldn't believe his stats over the last couple of weeks when I looked at him. So he's had 32, 30 in a goal and 32 his last yeah. three weeks. So we're getting $1.25 for 25. It's his 100th game. How good is this bloke for a bloke that's only about 100 games? Captain of the club, young Thank guy. He'll have 25. I don't think Collingwood midfielders tag anyone. They just go head to head and usually win. So 25 should be a lock story. Yeah, that's a good lead. 
actually, Jeff. Um, I've got big Mason Cox. Now, what you might not like about him is everything, which is understandable, but he is quite good to bet on for any time. He's, he's played unlockable. 63 games. At, extremely unlikable, yeah. come on. Um, he's played 63 games at the G, and that's resulted in 109 shots on goal. So by that law, we're getting about 1.5 shots on goal. Yep. He's a good set shot, and I reckon big say-so Cox pumps one in. Yeah, he always kicks one. That's a great stat. I love betting on shots on goal. Yeah. Yeah. You only do so oh, much, the better. I'm telling you, I've been, I've been <laughs> in the weeds. I've, no, I've you been have really been. deep. Uh, again, I don't understand this value, Jeff. Rory Sloan, 15 disposals. Now, I don't reckon big Rory Sloan's been in the 100K often enough. Yeah. Nah. But one of those players, it's probably too short. Yeah. Not this time. I'm getting $1.22 just for 15. That is a lock. This That's is 14 ridiculous. out of 15 on the season. I was dead. I was shattered. I thought I was going to go hard for 100% yeah. on the year. Yeah. Not quite. 14 out of 15. And Stoy, He was probably subbed off that guy. Potentially. Um, <laughs> your boys, he loves big big games like this. Out he on does. the G. Good luck having finding him not having 15 touches. I'll take every lick of $1.22, Jeff. Love it. Uh, this is probably one of the riskier legs, but we're going to take it on. Ben Keys anytime at $2.05. So he's kicked one, two, one in his last three weeks. So four goals in his last three. But if anyone watched the Pies Crows earlier in the year, he tagged Nick Dacos and ended up in the goal square by himself about 11 times because Dacos doesn't run back with him. He will be used this time, and he will kick a goal. He will kick the first goal, Lou. Ooh. I'm telling you, he'll kick the first. That. Benny Keys will kick the first. He'll kick a goal. $2.05 is amazing value for our multi. Ben Keys, four in his last three. Stoy. I, I can't wait to be heading down to the G and putting a little sprinkle on that, Jeff. Um, my last leg, again, as I said, I've been looking at this purely objectively, is another Collingwood any uh, goal scorer leg. Um, I've gone Bowie McCreary. Now, he's in the same vein as Cody Waitman in terms of just enjoyment of players you enjoy watching. Mm. He's actually kicked a goal in every game against Adelaide in his whole career. Good. Although it might not be long, but it's a good five years. So I think the boy will, will fire up again. He didn't kick one last week, so you're either hot or you're due, and he's yeah. both. He's likes, a good likes the Crows. He, he loves <laughs> does. it. Uh, any others? No, nah, that's me. Nothing from me, Dan. Oh, well rounded out there. Uh, welcome McCreary to the 100K. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> triple the Mardiakas. <laughs> to round us out, uh, Gold Coast versus Hawthorne. It's up there. It's uh, good weather too, Jeff. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> Not much else going on. Noel Anderson, 25 touches at $1.46. $1.46 for this bet is unbelievable value considering he has hit it one, wow. two, three, four, nine out of the last 10 Jesus weeks. Christ, oh, nine yeah. out of the last 10 and we're getting a $1.46 for 25 touches. He's in my pyramid. He's a fucking good player. Yeah. You go, Stu. I'll come back to me. Smart. Yeah, smart. Uh, I've got a bloke who's gone 30, 35. 24, 27, 26, and 25. And that's James Warple. He's been sneaking under my radar a bit. Um, but since round five, he's hit 25 touches, seven out of the last eight. And I'll be taking him for another 25. Love that. Um, I'm still a bit shocked about Nora Anderson. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Usually a pretty well-refined radar as yeah. well, Stoy. So uh, to slide yeah. under that. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to say. Right, we, we sweep around. Uh, sweep around. Give me Ben Ainsworth, Jeff. Yeah, now, I was man. a big fan of this boy last year. <laughs> Massive yeah. fan. And he sort of tapered off early in the season. I think he might have just blown out a little bit. But he was big last week. <laughs> <laughs> he was He's big. on Jeff's diet, is he? <laughs> 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 oh, the one he Jimmy's for brekkie, Jimmy's for brunch. <laughs> 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 we'll cut that. Um, dollar twenty nine. This is just too good. Now, if you watched the Blues game last week, he joined the two and twenty two club. Jeff, did he? That's a pretty prestigious yeah, club. So just for one dollar twenty nine at home, he was one of the only players that was actually had his head out of yeah. his ass last week. <laughs> so dollar twenty nine just for any time. I just that's just on morals. I had to bet on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke Bruce, two goals at $1.98. This has to be close to the bet of the year. He's kicked 24 goals in 12 <laughs> games this year. That's two a game. He's averaging two a game. He's kicked 12 goals in his last four weeks. He's red hot. Averaging three goals a game. He's an absolute gun, and he has been forever. Two bucks for Lukey Bruce to kick two is criminal. A professional. We know yeah. he kicks one in the first quarter every week. He's, he always kicks Hawthorne's first goal, and then he'll kick another. When they lost, when they got pumped by Port Adelaide, he kicked five that day. He kicked his 500th goal. He's a star. Stoic. Yeah, nothing from me, Jeff. So back to you to finish this off nicely, unless Lou's got to go. Yeah. You do. <laughs> John Newcomb, 20, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Touch machine. <laughs> Dollar twenty, eight out of his last night. He butchers a little bit, but I'm not. Be but I'm not betting on disposal efficiency. Yeah, no, you're not. No, so I'm just bad. betting on winners. He's a good cool and gather boy as yeah. well. Uh, so Local he loves product. it up there in the heat. So a dollar twenty, I couldn't say no to the twenty touches. Come back to me, Jeff. <laughs> Will Day, twenty five touches at a dollar ninety seven. This bloke has A grade written all over Amen. him. Smooth, classy, good on both sides. Dollar ninety seven for twenty five when he's had it five out of the last seven weeks, Lou. Five day. out of the last seven. He's averaging twenty six and a half his last seven games. Bit of a risky leg. Last game of the, of the week. We absolutely love a risky leg in the last game. And he's a gun. I love watching him. Morgs. Well done. Have you got any more? 
No, that's me. I've got two more. Beauty. <laughs> You, you always like the look of this game, though, I, to be I, fair. I do finish strong. Uh, Hawks plus 40 and a half. Okay. My second result. So $1.35. Way. I couldn't believe it. $1.35 plus 40 and a half. Is it, is it raining, Stoy? No, it'll just yeah, be dewy out there. Humid. <laughs> the nightmare of Metricon. So the Hawks are 12-4 and four against the Suns in history. Yeah. Not a bad record to start with. Now they, So they were blown, a, blown out of the water first half against Port two weeks ago, yeah. and then they came down and beat Brisbane at MCG. Yeah. So, I mean, they've been reasonably impressive. Yeah. Just yeah. to get a 40 and a half head start for $1.35, whether you like it or not, you just have to take. The only thing I worry about is Sicily not playing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> He's suspended. Probably a, a pre-show conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I knew he was out. I knew he was out. Nah, but 40's I, heaps. I, they yeah. go up there with nothing and to lose. They attack the game the whole game, Hawthorne. They always yeah, kick off. Yeah, full heaps. And you could just you could get the backdoor cover. That's yeah. a real backdoor Absolutely. cover sort of situation. And I reckon Stuart Drew's a, a players coach. I reckon Sammy Mitchell's more X's and O's. Yeah. Yeah. So he's we'll gonna, back the X's and O's. He's gonna dot him up. You're yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now round us out. Big Levi Clunkbolt. How could we for not? The first. I wish. Oh. How could we not? Yeah. Pays 19 to 1 again for the first. Yeah, yeah but you uh, have to if you're watching yeah. this show and you don't have it, don't watch next week. <laughs> because you just have to have it. Just five. Three of the last four weeks, Clunk Bolt's kicked it's the first. The best bet and in is about to retire it's unbelievable obviously responsibly yeah. but just just five yeah. so he's been first as i said three. he's a big vegan yeah. but he kicks snacks so yeah, that's a, a bit of a contradiction is he a vegan big tofu yeah really yeah, i think so <laughs> his nickname's tofu i just figured he's a vegan <laughs> Dars gave him that nickname <laughs> I don't think I think he loves the steak. <laughs> <laughs> loves the, but he loves the snack as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, loves the so snack. So two dollars sixty for two. I oh, couldn't believe it. I wanted sixty. Yeah, I know. I wanted to have him for With two no last Sicily. week. Well, because the form wasn't there last week. Yeah, but then he kicked the <laughs> and then he kicked that one out of the rock. Yeah, that was a ripper. probably leading goal of the year. Yeah. So you oh. just have to back the form in in four games. What what do you say? Best bet of the year, Luke Bruce. Yeah, for two. Unbelievable. <laughs> to have two Bruce two, Clank Bolt two in the same multi. That is, is just Even just have can. that as your yeah. bank as a single. Just yeah. knowing it's going to hit. 100%. That's right. It's funny because you do look through this and yes, they've got four <laughs> games, but I don't see a loser. Nah, and I think legs. they've just inflated the odds because there's four games. I, <laughs> I, reckon I actually think that's not a bad no, point. I yeah, so I think they've, they've tried to get us betting. It's worked, but we'll have the last laugh. Oh, we haven't had the last laugh in 86 attempts, but it's, maybe this is come. the year. It'll come. Uh, you happy for me to read it out? Yeah, eleven dollars twenty. You got to outlay on this to win a hundred thousand dollars. So it pays nine thousand dollars and nine thousand and two dollars zero cents in your pocket. Lukey Parker for twenty. Errol Goulden for twenty. Brayshaw twenty five. Langford anytime. Menzi anytime. Martin twenty. Peter Wright for two. Essen plus twenty one and a half. And Mason Redmond for twenty. Let's go. Say so. Cox for one. Bo McCreary for one. Meyer check for two. Yes. Twendlebury for twenty. <laughs> Dawson for 25, Rochelle anytime, Keys anytime, Rory Sloan 15. Come on. That's ah, a great start. Is it? Warple 25, Noah Anderson 25, Will Day 25, professional forward Luke Bruce 2, Hawthorne plus 40 and a half, Clunkbog for 2, yes. Ainsworth for 1, and Newcomb for 20. Come on. That's it. Come on. Let's go. That's one of the best bets we've ever put on, I reckon. Yeah, 100%. I, geez, I feel, I feel super confident. Yeah, good. I, I really feel real, real good about that. Yeah. Uh, he, here comes the money, Jeff. 50x club. Let's go 50x club. Oh, yeah, I like it. 50x club. So we're having a crack at a 50 to 1 multi because winning 100,000 of a $10 bet is bloody hard. So we're trying to hit a 51. We're, we've lost by two legs both the first two weeks of the thing. What's what's our plan here? Yes, we're just trying to turn 10 into 5. Do we have what's next week if it doesn't get up? I'm backing you in. Why do we halve it? Go 25 I reckon, 25. Yeah, 25 only if it, but let's not, let's not, we've got one in the gun here. Yeah, we've got one in the gun. Still fire. Yeah. So tw- uh, 50X club this week. Nick Martin, 20. Mason Redmond, 20. Caleb Sarong, 25. Happy with that start? Like, Very happy. Good. My check, two. Yep. Pendlebury, 20. Rory Sloan for 20. Ooh. Okay. So you've upped that a touch. I've upped that a touch game for player. some value. Yeah, I like it. Bruce for two. Will Day, 25. Anderson, 25. That's a cracker. No, it's a great bet. 50X club. Only nine legs this week. 10 on. 10 on to win 500 bucks. I'll be DMing you for that link. Let's go. Yeah, that, that link will be in the Patreon. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Be. 50X Cup. Let's go. Um, what did I say? Here comes the money. Here comes the money. What's the, what, what's the go here? It's been a journey. You might have seen the video today. If not, all I'm saying is tune into YouTube after this show. Here comes the money isn't dead yet. And join us on this journey of the new coming of Here Comes the Money. It is going to be something to witness. Yeah, it's been an emotional week at 100k. It has been an emotional week. Dar's gone to Bali because of it. I think it'll be worth a look. I can't wait for you. Comes the money here. Stoy, thanks for coming. Pleasure. (laughs) Next two weeks, massive update here. Yes. So next two weeks, not in order, but we've got Frank and Coach himself. So there hasn't been a winner in the $50 market 
for Super a couple coach because of the buy round. So he'll be back for a massive update. But probably, I reckon, one of our biggest shows ever. Yes, the most excited I've been to see. The Brownlow Shark will oh, be back. Yeah, so we, be we don't give away our leaderboards. Yeah. So every week you look on SCN, Fox Footy, they yeah. just give out the leaderboards. We don't do that because yeah. he works away. He's got to do his work. But I reckon, so in the next two weeks, so I'll be next week, we will announce yeah. it, obviously, all the week after. The Brownlow Shark, i tell you what, some interesting yeah. news, Jeff. We and don't I, want to give it away, but yeah. what we're hearing. And I question yeah. SCN and ESPN's radar and how on point it is. If they're doing it every week, are they really getting in the weeds like yeah. our shark is? He works his fucking ass off on this Brownlow ladder and had a look at it the other day and it is looking mint. And it's fucking exciting. And I t- I, as I said, I won't give it away, but I got a sneak peek of it two weeks ago. Yeah. There was a player in there that's not in the top 150 players in the comp. Wow. So I'll just leave you with that. And I have a feeling he is in the top three of the Sharks. The Sharks lid. And I have a great feeling he's also in my bet slip. Uh, Swans beat West Coast by 41 points. Pies beat the Crows by 60. I'm going to have 15 Sona Woods and about 100 cans. Come see me there. Wow. (laughs) Chile. Baby, yeah. back ribs. <laughs> ribs, ribs, ribs. <laughs>